have been to the pharmacy for medicine lately, you probably know this, that it's kind of difficult to get medicine for you or your family. It's going two or three pharmacies these days to have to try to find it. Yeah, pharmacists say numerous types of medications are in short supply right now. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is getting answers about the medications affected and how pharmacists are trying to work around these shortages. I like to play outside in my at recess. Six-year-old Faith hopes to go back to school tomorrow after being sick for nearly two weeks. Constant fevers every day for 12 days. She was just laying on the couch, just lethargic. When the flu led to a sinus infection, her doctor prescribed the antibiotic Augmentin. Christy Tripp went right to the pharmacy to get her daughter the medicine she needed, but it wasn't easy. They did not have any antibiotics. Nothing. And at that time, you know, as a parent, you're scared and worried. Um, so we tried another pharmacy. They had nothing. Having this many drugs that are that short, uh, I've not seen in practice in 20 plus years. Steve Atkins, pharmacy manager and owner of Health Park Pharmacy in Raleigh, isn't surprised to hear about the Trip family's ordeal. He says pharmacies are dealing with all kinds of drug shortages. Antibiotics, antivirals, ADD medications, diabetes medications, you name it. We purchase from the largest wholesale in the world, uh, worldwide. Uh, and they have zero on hand of all the Tamiflu, zero on hand of amoxicillin suspension, zero on hand of number of different augmentant suspensions. When medications aren't available, he works with doctors to try to find substitutions or even compounds medicines at the pharmacy, sometimes turning pills for adults into child-sized doses. Much more labor-intensive, but it's better to have something available for the children. The shortages are causing frustration for pharmacists and families alike. As parents... You, it's, it's worrisome. Fortunately, the trips eventually found a pharmacy with Faith's medicine in stock. As soon as she had it in her body for 48 hours, we started noticing the change. And while they're relieved she's finally feeling better, they wonder what will happen next time someone gets sick. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.